Hi, my name is Mike Ball. I'm a project manager and branding enthusiast at One Social Media, and I was recently fortunate enough to sit down with best-selling author Marty Newmeyer, who wrote The Brand Gap, Zag, and The Designful Company. I got to pick his brain on a variety of topics, and here's one of his answers now. In Zag, you talk about differentiating yourself by kind of coming up with that onlyness statement. You're the only one I've ever read or um, heard say that, call it the onlyness statement. Can you kind of explain that a little bit and why it's so important to have that probably from the very beginning? Um, well, I think I came up with a cool word for it, but I think it wasn't, I wasn't the first one to think of this because in the 60s, 50s and 60s, there was the unique selling proposition mm -hmm. by Rosser Reeves, who had an advertising agency. He was a partner. And so his he was the first one to come along and say, you know, all we do is like talk talk at people. We're like giving them a million reasons to buy products, but we can't give them one reason. We don't, you know, and people can't remember a million reasons. They can only remember one. So let's figure out what the one reason is. Right. Right. And I think that's what this is based on. And so, um, you know, it became – that caught on and in the 60s a lot of advertising agencies were figuring it out, figuring out ways to do it, but they weren't necessarily doing that at a company level. It was more like a campaign level, right? Right. So um, what I found out was that you can't do it at a campaign level because it's fake. You know, you have to do it at a company level. Mm -hmm. um, and so why don't we start asking that question and I mean, it just, when I came up with the word onlyness, it was just uh, something I had learned by trial and error when I was doing a lot of software packaging. Uh, I was trying to get everything down to one idea so that all the other selling points could hang off of the big idea. So, And I started asking companies, you know, what's the big idea behind this software product? And they, wouldn't, they didn't know. They said, well, here are the five things that it does, or the 20 things. Yeah. I said, well, why don't we like, pick one of these things that's really compelling that no one else can say they have? And, and then, I, then I started saying, you know, what you need to do is zig when everybody zags or zag when everybody zigs. And they went, well, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> and so that led to this. And then, you know, so I innocently put it in my book. And then I realized as I was finishing the book that, like, this is the idea of the book. Right. Uh, and then afterwards, some people from really powerful consulting companies like McKinsey would come to me and say, you know what, I spent my whole life in this business, and in one sentence, you like wrapped up everything I know, and that's, that simple sentence, so that's one word. Right. Um, you know, it's just I'm slapping my forehead when I see it. So um, it, it turned out to be a good, a good insight, but I just came across it from, you know, necessity. <laughs>